Hey everybody, welcome back to Fixer Up. And uh, as a reminder, this is a brand new series on the channel where I am working to fix up one of my alts and to teach people along the way how sort of everything works with this. Um, so I, it's a series I've wanted to do for quite a while because I think that uh, for people that are new to Second Life, uh, for people that are new to buying clothes and, and all that stuff, um, I think that it makes a big difference uh, if you can see it done a couple times. Uh, so today I am at uh, the main store for Blueberry, and uh, Blueberry is one of the top uh, designers for uh, women's clothing in Second Life. And I am here to pick up um, just uh, a couple of things uh, so that we can talk about standard sizes and avatars that are not mesh wearing mesh clothing. Uh, because you can wear mesh clothing without actually having a mesh body and all of that stuff. Um, and, uh, you know, some of these terms, if you're brand new to Second Life, might actually be a bit confusing. But meshes is a type of um, uh, clothing that you can got buy. It also can be used to create things like hands and feet and bodies and houses and stuff. It's basically determines uh, by the way that you actually create the objects and bring them into Second Life. Um, but what I want to do is I want to talk a little bit about the shopping process and how to find mesh that will work um, for you and, um, and because it's getting a little confusing. Um, there's a lot of different things out there right now and knowing what to buy and buying the right things is an important first step. Uh, so my first tip for anybody that's getting into Second Life and wants to be able to buy clothes is to um, is to go to places that are popular and well known and from well trusted um, and established designers. Uh, you will pay a little bit more um, than some of the discount places, but uh, I can guarantee you that you almost always know what you're getting. Uh, so a store like Blueberry uh, has a consistently high quality. Uh, her uh, clothing is is well made. It's well textured. It's uh, well tested. And, um, it, you know, it's, you know, got, I guess, the downside to some people is it's very popular. You see a lot of people wearing things from Blueberry, uh, but that popularity um, is uh, part of what makes it a good store to shop at as well. Uh, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to buy, uh, eventually, a pair of shorts and a tank top. And uh, I chose this outfit because I do just want to replace sort of this uh, default outfit I'm wearing here. Uh, with something uh, sort of straightforward and simple. And I'm going to keep these shoes because they uh, are fine and they work. And we'll talk more about buying shoes um, in another video. Uh, so I just got done saying that Blueberry is a well-known, trusted brand that always makes high-quality stuff. And that is true. But I want to say one thing. Uh, doesn't matter how well you know the brand, doesn't matter how well you trust the brand, the first rule of thumb whenever you're working with Mesh is to find a demo and to get it. Okay? Demos should always be free. Sometimes you'll see demos that cost one Linden dollar, but oftentimes that's because of the vendor that that person uses, and it will refund you that one dollar as soon as you buy the demo. Uh, so don't let those one dollar demos scare you too much. Sometimes they are actually a dollar, uh, which is unfortunate. Demos should be free, um, but uh, and 99% of the time they will be. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to buy this demo. Now, let's look at this advertisement up here. So this is for the tank top. Here are all the different colors that it comes in. Okay? And this information right here is really, really important because this tells me right here what this clothing works with. So it says it works with the Matreya Lara body. It works with all three Beleza bodies. It works with both slink bodies. And it works with standards. And standards is what we want when we don't have a mesh body. Okay? Standards is standard sized mesh clothing. And if I click to buy this demo, it's going to pop up the contents of the demo here. And I can look inside and I can see what's in here. And we demo things because we want to make sure the fit is right. So I can look here and I can say, okay, it comes with a HUD. The HUD is a head up, heads up display that will let me change the color of the tank top so I can see all the different color choices. It comes in XS, 
XXS, which is extra, extra small. Extra small. It comes in a Venus size, which is Beleza, Slink Physique, and Slink Hourglass. Comes in small. Comes with Matreya for Lara body. Medium, large, Isis, and Freya, which are also Matreya bodies. So this alpha layer, the large, the medium, the small, the extra small, and the extra extra small are all the standard sizes. And those are what works without owning a mesh body. So if you haven't purchased a mesh body, when you look at the demo, when you're looking to buy items, you're looking for standard sizes, and that's what you're looking for. So this, zero, uh, this demo costs $0, I'll go ahead and buy it. I'm going to go ahead and buy these shorts here as well, this demo for these shorts. And again, I can come here and look. It works with standard size. I look in the box. It's got extra small, small, etc. I'll go ahead and buy that. All right, so I've got a few things there. Uh, I want to go ahead and walk up to the front of the store, though, uh, because... Hello to all you people who are on video now. Uh, a lot of stores, Blueberry included, uh, have groups. And a lot of stores have group gifts where you can actually get free things um, um, just by being a part of their group. Okay? And so what we're going to do is we are going to join the Blueberry group. And most stores have some sort of group join sign up in the front. So I see it there. And I see down here in my ch chat, Blueberry store, click here to join the group. I open it up. So it costs me five lindens to join this group, okay? And they do that most of the time. Sometimes it's more, sometimes you'll end up paying a couple hundred lindens, depending on the group gifts you can decide. But most of the time they do this to keep people from joining the groups that are free and spamming the group, etc. So I'm gonna go ahead and click join now. Okay, so I pay $5 to join the group. Five linden dollars to join the group, which is actually like a penny or something like that in real life money. All right, so once I'm in the group, you'll see now above my head, it says that I am blueberry flavored, which means I'm in that group. And I can come over here and I can get these group gifts by just clicking on their sign. Click the sign and click keep. Click the sign and click keep. So there's some group gifts. That gives me some extra stuff to work with for this avatar. Um, all right, so I'm going to go ahead and pop over to my house. And we'll take a look at this here. So here we are uh, in my normal house. Let me go ahead and change this over so that it's not so dark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my inventory and we'll go ahead and close that down. And if I look in my inventory here, I can see in my objects folder, I've got um, some of this stuff. Here's my wardrobe I got earlier in my first video. Here's the group gifts I got, okay. But here are the two demos I got and that's what I wanna focus on here. All right, so what do these sizes mean and how do they work? Uh, well, a few years back, a group of clothing designers got together and decided that um, avatars generally fit into a group of sizes. And they created what was known as the standard sizes to make clothing design for mesh a little bit easier. Um, and so what we can do to figure out what size we are is find a sizing chart. And I actually happen to have one in here, uh, standard sizing information that I got from a store a while back that kind of explains all of this. And if I look down here at the bottom, I can see that if I change my shape to one of these sizes, all of these different shape things in here, I will be that particular standard size. So what we're gonna do is we're going to make my avatar be a medium standard size. All right. And we're going to do this in a minute, actually. Let's do this first. Let's come in here to this pair of shorts. And I'm going to go ahead and wear the medium shorts. I'm going to go ahead and add those. They're on my avatar. I'm going to go ahead and take off the shorts I had on before. Okay. And you'll notice that there's this big invisible part of me. And that's because the shorts that I already had on had an alpha layer. And an alpha layer basically hides part of your body so that the mesh clothing, or that your body doesn't poke through the mesh clothing. Uh, these shorts that we got from Blueberry as a demo actually come with an alpha layer here. If I right click on myself and go to my appearance to see what I'm wearing, I can see that this default avatar had the Kimberly shorts alpha layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. So the rest of my body sort of pops into place here. And here's the Blueberry shorts and they work pretty well. Nothing's really popping through too much. 
I do see around the back here there's a few things popping through. So what I can do is I can add this alpha layer and that will make the part of my body underneath the shorts invisible and that will help a little bit and when we adjust my size here in a minute that will help as well. So let's go ahead and put on the medium size for this tank top. There's that tank top. I'll go ahead and take off the one that came and notice that again I've got this weird alpha layer thing going on. So I'll come back here and I'll find my Kimberly t-shirt alpha and I'll take it off. All right and that fits pretty good still. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and wear this blueberry alpha layer just to make sure that everything is perfect. All right, so I have a sense that my body is already pretty close to being a medium standard size. But let's go ahead and open the standard sizing information again. And I'm going to right click on my avatar and I'm going to edit my shape. And where did it go? All right, there we go. There it is. All right, so I'm gonna edit my shape. And again, we're gonna start with medium. So I'm gonna to go to um, body, and I'm gonna make my body fat 11. So right now my body fat is zero. So I'm gonna make my body fat be 11, okay? And the next one is torso muscle, and that's under torso. And we're gonna make torso muscles 38. So I was pretty close to standard medium, but not quite. And breast size should be 58. Right now it's 60, so I'm going to make it a little smaller. Love handles. It should be 31. It's 30 right now, so I'll just make that 31. And belly size is 6. It's 0 right now, so we're going to make it a little larger. 6, there we go. And then the next ones are under legs. So leg muscles, 50. We're going to make those 56. Butt size is going to be 44. And saddlebags is going to be 36. All right, and that was actually a good one right here. So let me kind of zoom in here a little bit on the side of my body. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and hop up on this pose stand quick. Let me take a look at this. So notice here on the side of the shorts that as I adjust my saddlebags up, you know, the skin starts to poke through there. That's what happens when you wear the wrong standard size. Okay. It pokes through. So these shorts were made to work with the saddlebags size 36. Now your AO as you bend and move might actually cause even the standard size to poke through a little bit, but generally it should work pretty well. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and save that. All right, and I'm going to click close on that. So that's standard size. Now if I was to come in and I was to wear the extra small version of these shorts, add those, and detach the medium shorts. See how they don't fit at all? They're stuck inside my body. That's because again, the standard size. So that's where the standard sizes are important. In order to make standard size mesh fit, your body size has to match what's in the, the standard size specification. So if I wanted to wear these extra small shorts, I would have to wear the extra, extra small um, body size. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the medium back on. Now, when you're demoing stuff, when you're wearing stuff, I, I hopped on the pose stand to show you this here, but it's really important to move around a little bit because sometimes, like I said, things start to poke through. And sometimes they're going to poke through a little bit. When I walk, if you look at the front of my shorts right here, it's going to poke through just a little bit right there, and that's okay because it's just when I'm walking. But if I look at myself when I'm standing, they don't really poke through. All right, and so you want to move around a little bit just to make sure that it, when you bend or move, it doesn't do odd things. Um, and, and that will help you be a lot more satisfied with your purchases because again, this is a lot of money. Like I said, we're going to spend about eight thousand dollars to fix her up, uh, eight thousand linen dollars, which is is about thirty U.S. dollars. Um, and so we'll see how far we get uh, with this. All right. So looking at these here, I'm going to go ahead and come into the top folder. I'm going to go ahead and add the HUD for the top because we can look at all the different colors. This one's kind of got a a shimmer to it. I'm going to turn on the cherry top. Uh, there's a pink. This is a lighter pink called Pixie. And there's white. So all sorts of different colors. And you want to change the colors a little bit. So I just noticed because I went to a darker color that um, right here on my belly, right there, there's a little part that pokes through this top. Um, 
Which is interesting. Doesn't quite line up the way it should. And it wasn't as noticeable on the lighter tops because it kind of blends in more with my skin. Uh, but on the darker tops, you see that poking through. And so that's why you want to you go through and do these. It's not just enough. Don't just demo it really quick and say, oh yeah, it looks pretty good. Um, because a lot of times then when you go to get your color or whatever, you might be disappointed. So I know that in this case that I don't want to get a dark top uh, if I get this one. I want to stick with a lighter top and then that's hardly noticeable um, if you stick with the really light tops. So uh, you make a decision now. Does this fit the way you want it to? Um, you know, just because um, one thing doesn't fit right doesn't mean it won't fit right later. And we should also note that inside of these folders are also all these mesh body sizes. And the mesh body I'm going to get later is going to be Matreya. So before we go through and buy a lot of these, I'll probably actually go out and get the demo of that body. And you can see what it fits like on there um, and get a chance. Anyway, so I wanted to show this. So this this is how standard sizes works, right? Um, uh, it's a, a, def a default standard uh, that was created, like I said, a few years back by some of the big mesh designers at the time. And um, and you can get these different sizes. Uh, and I should note that there are sizes for females and there are also sizes for male bodies. So if you're a guy uh, in Second Life, um, you can uh, get standard size clothes as well. Um, and you can pick, and you'll notice that really there's not a great deal of difference uh, between um, some of these. So going from medium to large isn't a huge difference. Uh, but for example, breast size goes from 58 to 71. Muscle fat uh, more than doubles, or body, pardon me, body fat uh, more than doubles from 11 to 24. Uh, and extra, extra small is really quite thin and quite small for an avatar. Uh, all the other slider settings for your avatar make no difference when it comes to standard size um, with one exception and I will say that sometimes that the breast cleavage and breast buoyancy which controls um, the, basically the gravity up and down positioning of the breast will make a a, a pretty big difference in how tops fit. Sometimes uh, breasts will extend uh, out too far and they'll kind of poke through the sides or you'll have too much cleavage and they'll poke through a v-neck or something like that and you can adjust um, your body shape a little bit and get those uh, articles of clothing to fit. In this case it worked uh, pretty well uh, just to go ahead and stick with it the way it was. All right, so that's mesh standard sizes. I hope this makes sense to people. And if you have been confused about getting started with mesh uh, and with mesh standard sizes, uh, this is the way to go. Uh, I will try and find um, a good resource online for the standard sizes and include that in the link in this video so that um, people can find those. If you want to know what they are, uh, you can probably pause this video when I've got this up here. Um, can kind of put it up here for a second and see if we can make it big enough so you can see all the sizes. Yeah, so there's all the female sizes. So if you wanted to copy these down quick, you could just pause the video here quick. And then here's all the male sizes as well. Uh, but I'll try and find a link somewhere online that we can actually uh, put this out there and, um, and then you, I can point you to it. And that way you don't have to just pause the video. Uh, again, it does require you to modify your shape. So if you have a shape that is not modifiable, you'll need to either make your own shape or find one that you can modify. Uh, modifiable shapes are pretty important for a lot of things in Second Life, though. Alrighty. Well, thank you for watching. Uh, this is uh, my new series, like I said, uh, Fix Her Up. And I'm working on Ashlyn here, who is my alt and we're going to get her fixed up uh, starting with the classic avatar and working our way all the way through to a full mesh uh, avatar as well. So until next time, take care.